Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been dogged by persistent claims of a feud with Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge since the youngest Windsor brother married the former actress. The rumor mill initially suggested the Duchess of Sussex had struggled to find common ground with her sister-in-law but commentators later suggested Harry and William had fallen out. Royal expert Omid Scobie claimed the split between the household of the Sussex and Cambridge families was the best thing to happen to the brothers as he admitted the relationship between William and Harry had grown patchy before the break. Speaking to Yahoo's The Royal Box, Mr. Scobie said, it would be a lie to say things weren't patchy with William and Harry at one point. To call it a feud, to call it a fallout, is far too extreme. The best thing that could have happened for them was to now be in their separate households, working separately, being able to come together for special family moments and social occasions. Buckingham Palace announced in March Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had been granted their own household and would split their communication team from William and Kate before relocating away from Kensington Palace in central London. The couple moved to Frogmore Cottage, on the Windsor Estate, shortly before the birth of their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The Sun's royal correspondent Emily Andrews confirmed the real break had indeed happened between William and Harry, suggesting the brothers had fallen out on several occasions before the Duke of Sussex met Meghan. Miss Andrews said, people said Kate and Meghan had fallen out. That wasn't right, it was the boys. They had fallen out, I think, over a number of things. They'd fallen out over money, they'd fallen out over status. I think part of the reason they had fallen out was because, in the beginning, when Harry and Meghan were still dating it became very obvious to William that Harry and Meghan were very serious. She continued, the relationship was going very, very quick and Harry, wears his heart on his sleeve, very defensive of Meghan, took it completely the wrong way. He said to William something along the lines of you are trying to destroy this relationship before it even started. This week it was also revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have renounced their responsibilities from a joint charity venture with Kate and William. The quartet, dubbed the Fab Four following their first joint public outing last year, had been working together on the Royal Foundation, a charity Prince William and Prince Harry created together in 2009 which Meghan and Kate later joined as patrons. A royal source told The Sun, things did get very bad between the brothers and they didn't see each other privately for a number of months after the royal wedding. Certainly the animosity over status, money and Meghan meant that the split in their joint households had to be brought forward much more quickly than anticipated, so perhaps it was inevitable that their joint charity has to be split too. They added, Meghan and Harry want to do things differently to William and Kate. William is the future king and so is sometimes restricted in what he can do. The Sussexes want the flexibility of more commercial decisions. But the brothers' relationship has vastly improved since their working lives have separated.